Complimentary football, we can definitely clean it up, but uh, I think we look pretty good. Are you going to name a leap or something if you get into the end zone now in purple? Are you going to call it something else? Uh, I haven't thought about it, but I'm definitely going to have to. Maybe the, you know, uh, the, the county that we're in in, uh, in Minnesota, Hennepin County, so the Hennepin leap, I don't know, I might have to think of something. When you see the wide receivers, too, also having a great day, and then Sam, after that first sack, the O-line really pulled it together. What can you say about your fellow guys on offense? Uh, resilient. Uh, we, we go as the offensive line goes. You know, they, they're the ones, uh, them in the blocking unit are the ones opening up lanes for me to just be able to run and uh, giving Sam time to drop back and find the open receiver. And uh, we know the, the more time we give Sam, the, he's going to find that open receiver and make a perfect, perfect ball. So uh, you've seen that a, a couple of times when we did give him the time and um, I'm just I'm just very proud of this team that winning is fun and we look to continue to do that. Yeah, you talk about the one to Jalen Naylor too, right? Good to see that, right? It was great to see that. Speedy, he's been killing it all camp. So to see it uh, happen here, you, it made me happy for him. He's been battling through a little injury uh, towards the end of camp and he pushed through it and he gave us his everything and, it, and I love to see it. He's a, he's a baller. You have a front row seat too for the defense, right? When you saw Van Ginkle get the pick six and then Harry. That was one of the nicest plays I've seen. But the craziest thing is we've seen it in practice. Uh, we, we had a night practice in the main stadium at the uh, at our practice facility. He did the same thing. So it wasn't, it was like a shock because it's such a nice play, but it wasn't a shock because we've seen him do it before. Well, apparently he did it in a minute and six, I mean, 1.16 seconds, which beats his own record for the fastest interception. That's what I was about to say. Is that the fastest ever? Because <laughs> that is one. kind of boring back there. It was fun to see uh, them getting the quarterback every single play, and, and they couldn't test it deep at all. Yeah, that's amazing seeing Harry get his first pick, first game. If you guys remember in uh, 2022, first game, he ended up getting a pick on uh, against the Packers, and he had five picks that year. So after the game, I told him it's going to be that type of year where you, the ball's going to find you. So I'm happy for him, especially to keep showing that he still got it. Yeah, um, really, that play he had, I've seen him do it before. He's done it in practice. He's done. It, I saw. We all saw him do it in Miami with the pick sixes and everything. So um, having Gink out there is it's amazing because he could play really any position on the front end, um, rush the passer, drop in coverage. So he's just a Swiss Army knife for us. So it's fun having him. Did this first game in the second year under Flores go about as well as you guys thought it could? Yeah, but it's only week one. Um, we can't get too high off of it, but. Um, we for sure felt comfortable as a defense. So many new pieces, but everybody played together as if we've been together for years. But like I said, it's week one. We have a, we have a lot of tests coming up, uh, so we know that we got to get right back in the lab. And not only the interceptions, but five sacks from the guys up front and all pretty good right up stout yeah. D-line too. Yeah, they, they made it boring for us on the back end because they, especially for me being in, in the deep field, they, they couldn't test anything deep because the pressure was getting to them. So, uh, but we love that, uh, having them uh, really just get to the quarterback, especially Dallas being a rookie, getting his first sack today. Like that, that's big time, getting, getting your feet wet and you make a play your first game. So that's really good for him. He also had a front row seat to what the offense was doing after kind of shaking off that sack. How Sam opened up not only to get Jets, but then to get Jalen Naylor with that sweet one. Yeah, the fact that they were able to spread the ball, our run game looked good today, and we were able to just go out there and have fun. And seeing the offense really ball out like that just made it fun for us on defense, being able to actually get some rest and be able to really know that they're going to go do their thing, we're going to do our thing, score on defense, score on offense, and have a complete game. Harrison, first of all, congratulations. Great way to open up the season. Um, d defense dominated. You got an interception in the end zone. And nearly like 10 years in a day after your pick six. How do you feel about that? Um, younger me might have taken it out of the end zone. Uh, gone for <laughs> that back. Gone for that pick six. But um, first game, still getting your legs under you a little bit. But it was a, you know, it was a good effort. Um, we did a lot of good things. We did a lot of things we wanted to do tackled well, played well as a team. Um, a lot to build off of, for sure. Van Ginkle, um, his interception was 1.16 seconds, beating his own record. Just how about the way he plays with the speed and the efficiency? Yeah, yeah he's so multiple, and he's so smart. Um, I mean, that's a might not look like much when you watch that on TV, but like that was a smart play. And then the athleticism to do it and get in the end zone, like that pretty much iced the game. You never know. Maybe maybe they go on a drive there and it gets interesting. Um, 
So to be able to do that, it's kind of like putting a dagger in them. So it's big time. And a lot of the guys up front too, five sacks and all, and Dallas Turner kind of getting the nice start. Good to have that up there. Yeah, uh, just that's kind of what we expect from him. I know he's a rookie, but he's that good. Um, Pat Jones, all the guys up front. Like there was a very, very good rush playing against a quarterback like Daniel Jones, who can, who as we know, know from our past with him, he's hurt us with his legs. And guys were disciplined up front, playing unselfish, and um, do, doing the right things. And it, it made it easy us, easy for us on the back end um, to, to to do our thing. So it was it was a good team effort, uh, especially on defense, offense as well. So it was. It's a good start. Yeah, you mentioned offense the way you see Aaron Jones get almost 100 yards, 94 touchdown, and that, how they opened up the passing play too. Yeah, um, I played against Aaron quite a bit, <laughs> and I'm glad that we got him. Um, he's just—I love watching him run. He's so so smooth, and his cuts are just he's very efficient. Um, having a run game is a—it's quite a weapon in the NFL. NFL with this team, but also your first sack. Harrison Smith said, this is what we expect of him. We know he's a rookie, but we knew he had it in him, and we expect this. How do you feel right now? I mean, you know, I just feel blessed and honored, you know, just real gracious to be in this situation, you know. I want to give God the glory, you know, first and foremost. But, uh, you know, that's how was credit to this dude right here, you know, Jahad Ward. Next to me, you know, my teammate. Uh, you know, and the other dudes on the other side of the door rushing and stuff like that. And, you know, he, they fussing right to me, you know, so shout out to my teammates. Yeah, five and all, right? Pat Jones got two. The rest of you just really kind of pulling together. And then you have Van Ginkle yeah. kind of getting that pick six and super fast, too. What can you say about the way this defense has come together so quickly? I mean, it's no surprise to me. You know, that just shows up all the hard work that we put off in practice. And, you know, a lot of this stuff is just, you know, y'all just starting to see it now. But, you know, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff that was displayed today, you know, I'm, I'm used to, you know, just especially from fall camp, even from OTAs. But, you know, we definitely got a good group, you know, on the defense side of the ball and the offensive side of the ball as well. And, you know, uh, collectively, you know, we build together, you know, and the energy is contagious. So, you know, everybody feeling the same way. So. You say you're used to it, right? But you're only a rookie. Do you feel like older than a rookie in some respects and then and not in others? I mean, I know I'm, I'm still a rookie, but at the end of the day, you know, I really can't get complacent. Or, you know, try and pull off that, you know, the Ricky Card or something like that. You know, it's still a long season and a long career, too. So, you know, just just got to keep on getting more sacks. So. How about Harrison Smith, too? 13 years in the league, gets that pick in the end zone. And it's crazy. You know, I, used to, I grew up watching him. So, you know, it's, it's definitely wild, you know, being out there on the field with him. And, you know, just seeing him go out there and make plays, you know, it's... It's, it's, it, I ain't put nothing but a smile on my face. You know, I, I couldn't know him but celebrate with him, my teammates, stuff like that. You know, just knowing that we have a, a dude that's on that's on the way to the Hall of Fame on our team. So yeah. Congratulations on the victory, but also the pick six. Um, I think someone put a clock on it. One point one six seconds, beating your own record, pretty fast. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, it's it's surreal, and um, you know, obviously Flo puts us in the right position to make plays, and uh, we got a heck of a defense, and you know, I'm excited to see what this year, you know, how great we can be this year. Harrison Smith was just glowing about how you're always in the right position and you make things like that look easy when it's really difficult. Just a quick heads up play. Oh, when you already have teammates, if you haven't been around all that long, already respecting you that way, how does it make you feel? Uh, it's great. Obviously, you know, we got a great defense here. Obviously, I'm learning from him. Um, HP up front and all the defensive line guys that, you know, we stopped the run and forced him to pass. And, um, you know, Metellus, all these guys that just are so valuable to this defense. And we lean on each other to, you know, make plays and come out here and create turnovers. And, um, you know, I'm excited to be part of this defense. And I can't wait for this season. You good. What was it like for you coming off that foot injury this summer, and how does that make this moment feel today? Uh, you know, it's a lot of hard, hard work paying off, and um, you know, I put a lot of time in, you know, with the trainers down in Miami before I came down here, and, and then once I got down here, I went right, right to work with Tyler and Matt and all these guys, and they did a great job of, you know, setting out a plan, and you know, it's just me coming in every day, trusting the process, and. Cause it's a grind. It's a it's tough being injured like that and coming in and being at the facility all summer and you're not getting much of a break or you know and then I'd go home and we had to deal with the floods and it was just one thing after another. So um, you know I'm grateful. I'm thankful for my Lord and Savior. Obviously everything works. You know has you know God has a plan for us and um, you know I'm thankful to be here, part of this Vikings organization and um, it's a dream come true. Talking about that pick six play, what's going through your head before the snap? You've got to be anticipating the ball coming out the way you react. Yeah, uh, I had a similar play last year, and, um, you know, 
Fangio back then, he kind of pointed something out to me, and uh, you know, it's ingrained in my head now, and you know, I'm thankful for him. And then this defense, we show so much pressure. We put a lot of um, you know pressure and anxiety on the quarter coordinators, quarterbacks, O line, and uh, if we can get them to communicate and kind of show their hand, uh, it allows you to play faster and anticipate things, and that's exactly what happened. Can you share what Fangio told you? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, now I'm gonna keep that to myself. You know, it, it's worked. It's worked for me a couple times, and um, yeah, I kind of kind of gave it away last year. But um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, when offenses come out in certain. You know, if they come out empty, or if they come out and uh, chipper looks, or you know, there's certain plays that they're gonna trying to attack you with, and. Uh, <laughs> Um, you know, so it's, you know, it's allowing you to play fast and having a plan of attack. It's great. Um, obviously, like I was saying, we put, they put a lot of pressure on the O-line and offense coordinated quarterbacks and it, it makes them talk and communicate because, you know, they don't know where we're coming from, what we're trying to do. And, um, you know, it just, it, it allows us to play fast, play physical and make plays. Disbelief. It was just like crazy because like you, we just seen you do that last year on tape. <laughs> that was one of the first things they showed us when, when he got on the team. So for him to do it again, you know, just shows that you know it's not a fluke. He's a smart football player. He, he's a game changer, and he's gonna find a way to uh, change the game. It looked a little like the night practice. Yeah, uh, night practice against Washington. He had one just like that last year. Yeah, it was it was a lot longer though. He kind of got a give going only running ten yards. Uh, but yeah, man, he, he's a great great player, man. I was happy to play with him. Today. Daniel, talk about the speed in which he did it. He broke his own record and how quick it was. It was like 1.16 seconds to do that. He was. We're, we're talking about Van Ginkle's pick wow. six. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean, it happened fast. I, I know I got somebody was trying to block me. I got on the block. Next thing you know, I seen him flying in the air, and he landed in the end zone. I'm like, oh, wow. I'm like, that's a pick six. Like, <laughs> I didn't even see him catch it. Like, everything happened so fast, like you said. But, yeah, I mean, we, we expected that from him. Uh, Ginkle, a uh, very smart football player. Uh, a testament to uh, the staff for bringing him in. Uh, him, Cass, JG, all very smart football players. So you knew what they were looking for in free agency, and to see it come to life, you know, week one, picking up our scheme, even adding more stuff in, it just shows to their uh, ability to be a pro. Working on that, you know, um, uh, we literally just worked on that play a few days ago, and uh, we didn't connect on that play. So uh, just communicating with each other, trying to make sure that we're on the same page, uh, I'm in the right spot. He's throwing it to the right spot. And uh, I mean, everything that we talked about happened exactly out there on that play. Uh, and it was a beautiful ball. Uh, it was a, a, a wonderful start of our drive, get, getting that energy up on that 99 yard, that 90 yard yard drive. Yeah, I feel like it's more confidence for him uh, to, to see the ball, you know, into my hands and. Uh, to get up with emotion, I, I feel like you know that's going to be something uh, that we need throughout the throughout the season. Uh, just giving him that that confidence, giving him that that juice to, to throw me a ball whenever it's double, because uh, I was double during that play and uh, him throwing it to a spot and me going to get it. Uh, that's going to happen majority of the time during the season. Uh, he got to understand even when I'm double and I'm still open and I'm going to make a play. So uh, I mean, it's just him just having that confidence to throw me a ball like that and. Uh, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen time and time again throughout the season. Uh, I just hope that he continue to have that confidence in me to throw those type of passes. Did he come in with that kind of confidence, or did you see that kind of development throughout training camp? I, I feel like it developed throughout training camp. Um, it, it helps coming out here during the game and, and making plays like that. Uh, I, I feel like we kind of implemented that, you know, to give me those those double-double uh, balls and um, let, just let me go up and make a play. I feel like that's, that's going to happen a, a lot of times throughout the season. Uh, and it just starts with him, you know, just him being the leader of our team, uh, him being the captain, uh, him just leading us in, in the way that he did. It, it, it's great for his confidence uh, to say that, you know, this is his team. This is uh, his ability to, to, to make something happen. And uh, it's a great first week. Sure. I don't know if you're asking about Monday on a touchdown, but just what, what do you think about that design and then <laughs> I mean, I mean, once you have 18 going in motion, you know, it's just going to draw a little bit of attention. So, uh, I mean, we work on that, that play time and time again. Uh, we knew that we were going to get that type of look on that play. And, uh, you know, for, for Speedy to sell the, the screen and 
uh, to go out, and it was a great ball by, by Sam. Uh, and that's just uh, another play that we got to execute. Uh, and, and that goes with all 11 during that play uh, for the line to give Sam enough time to, to throw that ball to, to uh, Speedy. And, uh, I mean, it, it's going to happen time and time again. Uh, we just got to go out there and execute our plays. Uh, I think he's doing well. Um, you know, of course, he's, he's dealing with a little ankle. Uh, so it, it's just, you know, just making sure that we were keeping his spirits up. Uh, just making sure he's in that training room, getting all the help that he can uh, so he can be out there with us uh, as soon as possible. I think that Naylor touchdown happened right after he left. I mean, what does that say about the depth of your room? Shoot, we got some guys. You know, uh, we've been saying that. We've been saying that we we have the, the uh, talent in this room to uh, compete with anybody in this league. Uh, and we just go, trying to go out there and showcase it. You know, Speedy doesn't get that much time to be out there on that field. So uh, when that opportunity comes, he's making the, most of those opportunities. And uh, we're just going to keep stacking them. We're just going to keep scoring touchdowns, keep making plays. Uh, and, and that's going to be easier for, for Sam to look at. And uh, it doesn't matter who he's going to go to. You know, we're going to make the play. Just when you get someone like Aaron Jones to come out, he almost got 100 yards today, kind of keeping that run game steady to open it up for you guys. What can you say about that? I mean, Aaron Jones, is, he's, he's a guy. You know, he's a guy that he's going to put his head down and, and get every, every yard that he can. Uh, and that's something that we need, you know, something that we need. It's going to be tough for defense to guard the, the run and the pass, uh, especially the guys that we have in our room on the receiver end. And the, even the, the uh, running back room, we have guys in that room as well. So uh, to, to kind of mirror the, the run game and the pass game uh, is going to be killer, uh, especially with Sam playing the way he is, uh, our O-line blocking the way they have. It, it, it's it's going to be amazing. And the hands of Van Ginkle, too, when he got the pick six. Do you get the hands of Van Ginkle when he got the pick six? <laughs> <laughs> Making plays like this is something that we need for, for our, our team. Uh, I mean, just plays like that just doesn't come very often. So uh, for him to make a play, hold on to the ball and, and to go into the end zone with the pick six, uh, especially late in the game like that when we're already up and we're just, you know, putting them even further deep into a hold. Uh, that's something that we're going to need time and time again throughout the season. Uh, and that's just one player that, that's making plays at, uh, time and time again. Uh, but there's so many guys that's on our team that's making those type of plays. It's just whenever those plays come, we just got to make them. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you, guys.